Hi and welcome back to my channel. So I decided that I fancied um, building up a bit of a um, hardtail kind of jumpy downhill bike um, from a lot of the spare parts I had from updating my Canyon Torque and uh, I've put just uh, the entry level NX group set that was on the um, original Canyon onto this and uh, what I wanted to do is replace the jockey wheels because if you've ever seen the jockey wheels that come on the um, NX rear mech, um, they're absolutely shocking. They're not even, um, <clears throat> you haven't even got bearings in them. So what I want to do is buy some cheapest jockey wheels um, to replace these um, just for smoother running. And um, what I thought I'd do is I'd have a look at, see what uh, aluminium ones you can get off eBay. Um, had a look at some of them and then how they compare to a decent proper set of jockey wheels. So as I mentioned, the NX rear derailleur, um, the jockey wheels aren't particularly great. Yes, it's an entry level, um, it's SRAM, you know, kind of mountain bike derailleur. But when you knock off the covers, they would normally obviously cover over a bearing, which we expect to find. You don't actually get a bearing. This plastic bit in the middle here, okay, all up the black plastic, the dark grey plastic, it's all moulded into it so although it looks like it's a bearing it isn't and all that happens is the screw sits through this little pin here and obviously it rotates around that so yeah you don't get the smoothest of running you know you get a lot of friction by this design so you know although the nx rear derailleur isn't a brilliant one you can always improve it by putting some better jockey wheels in um you know crisper shifting and just less less friction and drag because these things just don't spin at all you know, they're, uh, they're really bad. So what I did was I scoured the internet to have a look to see what options there were. And I thought, you know, because it's just a cheap second bike. Um, I've built mainly from spare parts. Why don't I get some cheap, cheap jockey wheels? So what I did was I went on eBay, had a look through and found what I thought to be the best of the best options on there. So these are Mijun, I think that's pronounced right. So these are 7075 aluminium. CNC'd and apparently these are the ones with the ceramic bearings so they cost five pound a pop so ten pound for two jockey wheels is the 11 tooth variant so I thought up oh, for that price might as well give them a go um and that's where the problem started I haven't actually got around to giving these a go because I'm not going to fit them to my bike that's kind of how bad they are so <clears throat> what I'll do is I've, I've got one that's opened up and I'll bring it over here we go so deconstructed already and I'll show you why there is a huge problem with these. So you've got <coughs> several components here. You've got these, oops, these caps, that are like the bearing covers, bearing seals. Okay, then you've also still got, you know, similarly to the uh, original SRAM one, you've still got that little piece that goes in the middle. Okay, and then these are ceramic bearings as well. So <coughs> let me just put the camera down to kind of show you a little bit better about them. So... Oh, there you go. <laughs> so this is the jockey wheel. And as you saw, the bearing, which is supposed to be ceramic, I'm not 100% convinced, just fell out. So first of all, it's not a tight fit. If I hold down the actual bearing itself so it can't rotate, you can still spin it around. Okay, so it's not using the bearings there. It's just going to wear wear against the bearing and the, uh, the actual jockey wheel housing itself. Then on top of that, you have these little caps, which going in, as you can see, there's a, a massive gap. So you put the, obviously the cover on one side, this piece then goes in, and then this piece. As you can see, there's a lot of moving parts on this for a jockey wheel where there shouldn't be. So it spins for a long time, which you might think is brilliant. However, the reason why it's spinning for so long is it's spinning on this blue plate. This piece inside allowed to spin. The bearing itself obviously spins because it's supposed to, but then the casing it does as well. So whilst you might think, wow, that's amazing because it spins forever, it's not a good thing. And you can see that if I turn it on its side. If I turn it on its side, you can see just how much there's, there's actual lateral and vertical play, if you can see that. Okay. Now, the jockey wheel obviously has got one key job, and that's to move your chain up and down your gears. So in my view, I think these are dangerous because this is going to wear... You're not going to get a crisp shift because of the amount of movement and play in it. And it's more likely going to cause premature wear on your chain and other components. So these are that bad that they're not even going to wear near the bike. Okay. So if we kind of compare that to um, the several different manufacturers out there that make 
Um, you know, jockey wheels. I like superstar components. Are UK made? UK made jockey wheels in the north, and um, if we do a deconstruction and comparison. You can see straight away the difference. So start off is the jockey wheel itself is a lot thicker. Okay, it feels, it just feels better. Like there's similar weight, but this just feels better. So straight away you've got a cartridge seal bearing that you can see sat in there. Now these are twenty five quid. Bear in mind, two of these were 10 quid, okay, in total. So talking £15 more, not the end of the world when you look at the cost of bike components. So you use, on this one, it's an RS-type seal bearing with the black covers. You can get ceramic, as I mentioned, for another tenner, um, and you get the red caps. But first of all, the bearing. If you try and turn this and pinning it down as hard as I can do, it basically, it doesn't turn. Okay, I'm trying to trying to pinch pinch it correctly, Okay. That doesn't the bearing itself is nicely fitted in there. It doesn't just push and fall out. And then you don't have one of these silly little pin things, you know, in the middle for the, the screw to sit on. Basically, the screw that holds it on goes through these two black covers and it's bolted to your bike. Okay, it doesn't spin as long, but that's because it's actually genuinely spinning on the bearings. From point of view of lateral movement, you know, very little. There's no side to side movement. There's a bit of up and down. But that's to be expected, um, but there's no side to side. Also, the machining on these is a lot better. It's a lot neater. You can't see the machine line. The machining lines on these, you can just see the covered in machining lines, like it's been done on a cheap, cheap CAD machine. So, like I mentioned, they'll never go on my bike. So it's worth paying extra for proper jockey wheels. You know, you you pay an extra, like I said, fifteen quid. But your chain's going to last longer. Your component's going to last longer. You're not going to be wearing things out. So it's false economy thinking buying cheap jockey wheels. And I looked across eBay and they're all very much the same, all manufactured by in the same process with this pin system, with these edges. So my advice is it doesn't matter how shiny or nice it looks, um, stay clear of it because they're absolute rubbish. And I mean, even if you look at the size of the teeth for engaging, they're a lot deeper on a proper made one. So you're going to get uh, you're not going to get slippage. You're going to get it nice and tight and holding that chain well. Whereas this, this after a couple of months, I think that'll just be slipping. The chain would just be coming out and slipping, and it, your bike would be unrideable as well. So you'd have to be investing in some more, more anyway. Okay, we'll stick to known brands that are tried and tested that know what they're doing. Um, so I'm going to stick these on my bike now, and then I'll kind of show you show you how funky they look. They do come in lots of different colours. So yeah, that's what it looks like with the uh, blue jockey wheels installed. And um, one thing you will notice with if you've never had the uh, alloy jockey wheels before is they are a little bit noisier, as you can probably hear there. Um, so that's one thing to bear in mind is to get used. So they do quieten down a little bit, but obviously initially they're very noisy. Um, but as you can see they just look look absolutely funky and just just makes life easier pedaling. You know, having decent bearings and things like that and everything. Um, so yeah, so that's what they look like when they're uh, installed in the in the um, jockey wheel cage. Kind of cool blue to, uh, to match the rest of the bike. And uh, I tend to find that blue uh, alloy jockey wheels are a bit easy to clean, all that gunk off that collects on them. So uh, there you go.